much easier does the game get when Lopes is facilitating the way that you do? Yeah, no, he's um, – from the beginning, I mean, just look at the first play of the game, how he skipped it to Jalen Moore. Um, I, I saw him get one, a late one to, I think, Luke on a, on a out of bounds or on a, on a roll. He just, you know, he's, he's, he's got command of the game. And, um, you know, so it's, it's a luxury. And then you got his counterpart, Javion, who I thought got the pace going, made some big baskets in the second half. He's just so fast. He can get to that rim so fast that he can shoot. So people worry about him on that pull-up shot from three. So they, you know, they're out there. Then he can go by you. So his speed, um, and uh, but I thought Los, um, Los had command of the game. Justin, you mentioned Jalen got back in the mix today. Just what did you see out of him in his return? It was just good to see him get back in. I mean, I think he did. I think he was so antsy. I think he had a couple nice plays early. He had the three, and then the dunk. Did he make the three or miss the three? Yeah, he yeah, made it. And then he then he had the dunk. And then I think and then he had two fouls. And it's just I think he was just so amped up. And that's what I love about him. He wants to. I mean, he it was killing him to be not be out there. And that's what's hard. I, all these guys they want to play. They want to play more than they're playing. And I just there's not enough minutes to go around. But it's a good problem, because I really feel that. Uh, I thought just to change subject, but I. I, I I thought there was a lesson that we that I really liked to see out of the scrimmages in the first game. This is the first time that we didn't win the first five minutes of the second half. And we've, we've, we've done it and the other thing. And we had to call a timeout, and I thought they responded. All right? They, they, they came out, and then they answered a run. That was, that, was a, that was a really good run. They were amped up. They, they, they felt a little mojo going, and they cut it to 17, and their press was picking up a little bit more. And how we answered, I, I think – Rivaldo, I think, had a tip dunk. Then I think Sam had a couple offensive rebounds. We had a couple stops, and then we opened it back up again. And I think Latre had a big three. And uh, so we had guys off the bench turn it for us. 44 points off the bench. I think I just mentioned a couple of guys, Rivaldo and Latre, sparked us in the second half. That's that's really good when we made those subs and the and the and the energy went up. You mentioned that timeout, but just. Obviously, you were in there here, but for the players, just there were some guys who maybe stepped up vocally during that moment to get guys back on track. I don't think I let anybody get vocally. I was I was pretty much I, I mean I was pretty much the, the the one that was not happy in that first time out. Um, but uh, but I, I think they all you know that's a good thing about it. It was no like excuses. They knew, they knew like hey we got to turn it now. So when we were I saw them walking out and they were and they were ready to turn it. James, you're big, so don't miss a shot. I know. Again, you know I know. John makes a three. Uh, but you got some diversity in there. Yeah, I think, you know, Sam and John both are, are doing something. I was trying to find, you know, for Luke, too. Luke's natural position is a five. I'm playing him at the four. I'm trying to get him some five. So it's a good problem. I mean, Sam had 10 points and in, in six rebounds in 15 minutes. You know, John had 12 points and seven rebounds in 17 minutes. I mean, I couldn't be more happy with that. And uh, so, um, you know, Got to devise an offense with both of them in there at the same time. Ball up a couple of times. So. Yeah, yeah. Luke's skilled. No, I, and you know, I liked his confidence with it. He tried to make an outlet, and they were taking it away, and he just brought it up. And we were, we're if you notice, we're not this, it's got to go to one guy. We have multiple guys. We're trying to pass it ahead and strike in transition, just playing with a lot of faster, uh, faster pace. Josh? Yeah, another good night uh, offensive for Otega. Just how pleased he'd been with the start to his, his season. Yeah, like he, he's he's finishing through contact. I mean, he's he's really hard to keep out of the paint. Like he can really get to the paint and uh, finish through contact. So um, just, you know, just having it come to him and, you know, really happy. He's off to a great start. Crazy. Yesterday you kind of stressed the importance of rebounding and uh, not letting them get offensive rebounds. How do you feel like your team did executing that? So um, we, we really wanted to win it. So. The, the benchmark was 30% of the misses. We wanted to get more than 30% of the misses. We got 50% of our misses. That we missed 26 shots, we got 13 of them back. That's like high, high level. So that's two games in a row. We were like way up there on the percentage of getting back. We want to keep growing with that because those are extra possessions for us. Uh, on the flip side, they got 21 last game. We had them under 30. Uh, up until like the last five minutes, and then they got, I think, four in the last five minutes, and it, um, they ended up getting like 33% of their misses. So we were right there on our goal uh, of doing it. So I thought, you know, for the most part, we did good. Um, but I thought our offense rebounds was really getting us extra possessions.